So we're in the area where we think there's mud, typically, you know, South Florida, and mud's anywhere from about 600 to 800 feet of water. I know this area down here, 650, where I'm fishing, I know is real good mud, so we're gonna start there. Um, again, you can always, you'll know if you're in good mud when the rod hits the bottom and you'll see that the lead gets stuck and it doesn't really wanna come out. That's how you know you're in good mud for sure. Um, but you can also tell sometimes if you got really good depth recorder, you can look and see how this is kind of marking everything broken up. So there's a layer of mud laying on the bottom. Uh, if there wasn't a layer of mud, you wouldn't see this green haze above uh, the bottom here. So we know also this is good mud by looking at the machine. Um, so we're gonna drop down there and give it a shot, see if there's any tiles home. So I got my first hook about, I got my leg about two feet to the first swivel and then I got about a two foot dropper to the first hook so I got another about two and a half foot to the next swivel and then about a foot and a half dropper two foot dropper and then I got another foot and a half to my snap swivel up there where my light is so what'll happen is my lead will go to the bottom and it'll sink in the mud just like this is here and I'll give it a little free spool my first bait will be like touching bottom and this bait will be dangling just off the bottom 90% of the time you're gonna get your bait on your you're gonna get your bite on your bottom hook but uh, this is what's gonna be happening. So the lead will be down in the mud like this. The two baits will be drifting along the bottom. The tile fish will be buried in the mud. As the bait goes by, he'll just shoot out of the mud and grab the bait. We'll see a little tap, tap, tap. And just start reeling and come tight to the fish. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, you just wanna keep your bait really close to the bottom at all times, on the bottom at all times. You will not get a bite if you are not on the bottom. Gotta be on the bottom. So today we're gonna be using some squid if you don't have anything else, fresh bonita or fresh tuna works really well. Fresh kingfish, mackerel, anything really stinky and fresh works really good. But if you don't have any of that stuff, squid will work very well. Over here. So we're just gonna go through the mantle a couple times. And uh, that's why you got to keep it on the bottom because they're not going to leave their hole. They're not going to go too far from the safety of their burrow. Um, they will shoot out a few feet and grab a bait, um, but not very far at all. So you got to keep everything really close to the bottom, really tight to the bottom at all times. A lot of times when you're tile fishing, you're going to be fighting a pretty strong current. So you might have to buck the current, which is almost like if you're daytime sword fishing where you're driving to the south just to slow your drift down a little bit probably what we're gonna have to do here today. Because we are drifting at three miles an hour, two and a half miles an hour, it's a little too fast. In fact, we we'll might keep one motor in gear. I'm gonna point south, keep one motor in to slow my drift down a little bit. <clears throat> 